Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This lesson, the demonstrative pronoun, lesson N005 in Arabic, Ismul Isharati. Ismul Isharati. Ismul Ishara, the demonstrative pronoun. The word uh, ism means name. And al-ishara means to point. Ashara yushiru isharatan mean to point. For example, if I say to you, ashartu ila al-bab, I pointed to the uh, to the door. Uh, in English, we say they are demonstrative pronouns. Example of that is this, uh, these, that, those. In fact, I think those <laughs> are the demonstrative pronouns in English this that these and those uh, these four words are the demonstrative pronouns in English but in Arabic uh, we have a little bit more detail whether you are indicating one two uh, or three whether it's a singular the thing that you're pointing to is singular dual or plural it varies and whether it's masculine or feminine it varies and also if it's near or far so in english for near and far we would say this when something is near and that if it's far uh, and this for singular and these for plural and that for singular and those for plural for when it's distant but there is um, uh, a little bit more detail in arabic so I'll go ahead and um, and read that out. Asma ul isharati lil qarib. Asma is plural of ism. Al isharati, pointing or demonstrative. Lil qarib, lil means for. Qarib means near. Demonstrative pronouns for what is near. That's in this section here, these six. And then asma ul isharati lil baid the demonstrative pronouns for what are what is far it should be far so uh, when it's singular in this call uh, in this row here we have uh, masculine if the thing that you're indicating is masculine now in Arabic words uh, can be masculine based on the meaning or just the word itself or it can be feminine based on the meaning or the word itself is feminine I'll give you a simple example so you can understand um, even though that lesson is not intended here I'm just saying that so that you can understand the concept um, for example we say girl bint the meaning itself is feminine because a girl is female but if I were to say shajaratun, which means tree, there's nothing about a tree. Well, yes, there is. There are female trees and male trees. But the word itself, shajara, is female because of that ta at the ending, ta'ul marbuta. So the word is feminine. So if I were to indicate a tree, I would say, hazihi shajaratu, this tree. If, if the tree is near or tilka shajaratu if it's far and so words are masculine or feminine based on the meaning or the structure or the formation of the word itself uh, so that being said if the object that you're pointing to is masculine singular you say hadha. for example uh, if we were to uh, add on an, uh, a word here so that we actually indicate something this is a man if I'm pointing to a single man I say and I say which would mean this um, whereas if and I'll go ahead and translate here this is a man if it is I was pointing to uh, two men, I would say, sorry, 
رجلان هذان رجلان these are two men هذان I don't say هذا I say هذان because in Arabic we have singular dual and plural uh, which makes sense because a lot of things in life when we speak about them we speak about pairs there's couples there's two people talking uh, yeah. genders there's so many things that are in pairs so it makes sense that the language should have a facility to indicate two not only singular and plural is two and above in Arabic you have singular dual and then three and above is plural if we were to indicate a group of men we would say هؤلاء رجال sorry رجال رجال هؤلاء رجال that means these are men so going over that again masculine and I say third person because uh, when you indicate something you're talking about the thing because uh, if you're talking to someone you don't indicate you just address but when I'm speaking to you I speak to you about something and then I point it out Ishara, I point I'm not gonna point to you <laughs> and talk about you to you <laughs> I'll talk about something else to you or I can talk about you to someone else <laughs> yeah. anyway in which case that you become the third person at that point heavy he is feminine so we say heavy he imra a tun this is a woman this is a a woman uh, if I were to point to two women I'll say hatani so you have to memorize these uh, these words hatha hathani haulai hathihi hatani and haulai they are words that have to be uh, memorized we'll say im ra a tani im ra a tani mean two women these are two women if I indicated a group of women I will say haulai nisaun ni sa un put too much space there nisa un these are women so that's uh, when something is near and then when it's far you have six pronouns just like that but of course there are six different demonstrative pronouns so let's go over uh, these first six again هذا رجل this is a man so هذا means this هذان رجلان these are two men if you're pointing to or indicating two men هذان so the word هذا is made dual by adding on any just like we made رجل رجلان Ani will make a word dual. Yeah. Haulai rijalun. Unfortunately, when we make the plural, this plural is called jama'u uh, taksir. It's a broken plural. Um, it's on a pattern you have to learn. Haulai rijalun. These are men. But the word we are intending to learn here right now is not the word men. It's haulai. So hada this has any these indicating 
two uh, male that are near and have ulai three or more male if it's a female that you're pointing to you'll say hazihi instead of hadha huh? for example we'll say hadha hatifun hadha hatifun this is a phone but i'll say about the mouse hazihi fa'ra fa'ra is mouse um, or I literally mean the little mouse that run around in your kitchen and eat your cheese. <laughs> yeah. um, so I guess I did a literal translation of mouse there. And I don't know why we call them mouse. They don't have tails anymore. Yeah, yeah they are wireless. Hatani is the plural of had. Uh, sorry, dual. Hatani, these two. Literally, these two is how we um, we translate that. Hatani imra'atani. These are two women. But the way we would read that, we wouldn't pronounce this Hamza. This Hamza is called, this Alif here is really called Hamza to Wasl. We would say, listen to this. Hatanimraatani. These are two women. And the plural is Haulai Nisaun. So you're indicating a group of women. Haulai Nisaun. These are women so you'll notice that ha'ulai and ha'ulai are the same for male and female asma'ul isharati lil ba'id the demonstrative pronouns for what is far or what are far i should say singular masculine would be dhalika so we will say ذَلِكَ رَجُلٌ So you can pretty much copy these if we wanted to be lazy <laughs> and stick it there. ذَلِكَ رَجُلٌ And the same thing we can do here and say ذَانِكَ uh, so the difference between this the, the first one here here Hadha Rajulun and Dalika is that we're indicating a man here, we're indicating a single man here, but this this guy is near, so we say Hadha. And this one is far off. It's like saying this man is 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 uh, this is a man and that is a man. ذَانِكَ رَجُولَانِ And the same here, we can just copy رِجَالٌ and, uh, and say أُولَائِكَ رِجَالٌ Those are men. So if I were to put in the translation in this and say that is a man. And here I say Those are two men. And here in uh, this one we would say, those are men. Because um, in plural we don't indicate the number. The only reason I put the number here, technically we say those are men, because in English we don't really say two men. We say those are men. In Arabic, rajulani. If you see two men, you'll say those are men. Yeah. But I did it so you'll recognize that it's dual. Um, tilka is feminine. To zalika. To indicate a female that is uh, distant or in a distance. So instead of saying this is a woman, we say 
تلك مرأة and we could just go ahead and be lazy again and copy this and say this is a woman Tanika Tanika Imra'atani So instead of saying I don't know why there's a space there I think I did something accidentally Instead of saying Hatani Imra'atani We say When uh, the two women are In a distance we say Tanika Imra'atani These uh, Sorry those Are two women and really technically in English we don't say two women we say those are women yeah. and the plural is, is still ula'ika uh, ula'ika uh, nisa'un we'll just copy this word here those are women So let's go over this again. If it is you're indicating a single male or a word that is masculine that is in a distance, you say ذَلِكَ instead of هَذَا. So instead of saying هَذَا رَجُلٌ like we say when the man is near, we say ذَلِكَ رَجُلٌ That is a man indicating a, a man that is far off. If the two men are in a distance, instead of saying "hadani rajulani," we say "thani ka rajulani." Those are two men. And instead of saying "haula irijalun," if the men are near, when they are far, we say "ula ika rijalun." Those are men. If it's a female, we say, instead of saying This is a woman, we say This is a woman, oh, sorry, that, uh, that is a woman if she's in a distance. And if it's two women, we say See this, this alif? This alif really is a hamza. It's an, alif is a vowel, but here it's it's, it's a letter. Yeah, maybe one day I'll explain the, the subtlety between the alif being a vowel and the alif being a letter. Here it's a letter, so we call it hamzatul wasl, meaning it's only pronounced if you start with it. So when we're joining the kaf to the meme, we don't pronounce it. We say tani kam ra'atani, and we skip that. Alif, which is really Hamzatul Wasl. How does that, what is the difference in the sound there? If you could pronounce it one time for me, with and then without. Okay, so if we pronounce it, Tanika Imra'atani, and we give it a Kasra, that is technically a mistake. Even though the word is Imra'atani, we only pronounce the I if it is, it's the first sound coming out of your mouth. But if it is, you're joining a word before to it, then you have to skip that Hamza. It's called Hamzatul Wasl. We say, Tani Kamura'atani. And this is just technical. <laughs> Most Arabic speakers don't even pay attention to that. <laughs> but I'm just wanting to teach it correctly and how you apply it. That's between you and Allah. Tani Kamura'atani. Those are two women. So instead of saying, Ha Tani Mura'atani, if they are near, the two women are near. If they are in a distance, we say, Tani Kamura'atani. And if the women are far off, instead of, instead of saying, Ha'ula'i Nisa'un, we say, Ula'ika Nisa'un. And this wow is not pronounced. We do not say, Ula. We say, U. We make it short. That wow is just not pronounced. It's silent. 
and those are women. So just to go over this lesson again and to put it in perspective, we are talking about words that are definite. And uh, we talk word we talk about words that are made definite by putting alif and lam in front of them. And then in the next lesson we talked about the pronouns by using uh, the uh, pronouns and then here we're talking about uh, demonstrative uh, pronouns in the lesson before we talked about um, yeah, pronouns that are disconnected and connected and this one are demonstrative pronouns so uh, if you say هذا رجل now رجل is is nakira meaning it's indefinite but when you're pointing it become a specific person because if i point to someone it's not now any man it's the one i'm pointing to right. that's the idea behind this lesson but we're using it as an opportunity to also learn the pronouns the demonstrative pronouns but the, the the core lesson was to tell you that if you're indicating someone who is the word itself is indefinite be, by the the function of you pointing to the person it now become a specific person mm -hmm. huh? okay so if i were to say a man uh, lives down the road a man lives down the road which man it's indefinite it's we're not sure which man we're talking about but if i say uh, this man lives down the road and I point to him now I'm talking about a specific man hmm? mm -hmm. yeah so demonstrative pronouns make the thing that you're demonstrating or indicating mm -hmm. we say demonstrative pronoun are easier word to, to make it make sense is uh, I don't know indicative pronoun the word the pronouns that you're indicating with you're pointing with and in Arabic language, we use the word ishara, which means to point. Yeah. 